so, uh, I noticed a little something. The shotgun is made from solid gold. Just looking at it makes you feel like luck is on your side. Cool. It's kind of worthless. Except, uh, that battle bonus reward. Weapon. Three times. Uh, you, you fucking what, mate? Shakedown 1x, equipment 1.5x, CP 2x. Okay, cool. Battle weapons 3x. Does that mean that I get triple the fucking money just for having this fucking gun equipped? I don't know if that means I have to use it or not, but uh. Oh shit. Really? Ow. I hope they read my postcard on air. Better tune into Dulce Community Show next time. Um. Huh? Huh? What happened? Did that? Did that not count as leaving the fucking store? I have to leave and come back. Is that what it is? That's what it is, isn't it? You son of a bitch. Dolce is on the air. As always, we kick off the show with a shout out to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Yeah, yeah. Did my postcard make the cut? Here's hoping he reads the one from Goro 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 Chan. Goro 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 Chan Sang! Yikes. Yo, Dolce san And yo to you too! I'm always looking forward to your show. Thank you. I heard we got a new sales tax coming out next year. Yes, I'm really down in the dumps about that. I didn't know about it. Didn't you, don't you watch the news? Recently, I got into a chat with a politician who came up with the sales tax. He's having a pretty hard time. Wow, talk about national discourse. He wanted to know what kind of new taxes would work, so I gave him advice. You did? What, 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 what have you done? This is exactly where I thought it was going to go. <laughs> if the government comes out with new taxes, it might be my fault. Sorry. P.S. Don't you give me a son. How much do they pay you to do your radio show? In a country where people are furious about sales tax already, why would you add fuel to the fire, you dumb son of a bitch? Still, what are the chances that a single citizen's advice would pass the legislature and become law? You should be fine. And if not, you can pay my share of the tax. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was clever sleeking in that question about my pay. A DJ never tells, but if my boss is listening, I could use a raise to offset the damage Koro 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 Chan has done. <laughs> I knew I had to pick that one. Oh, a time already. Too bad, too sad, etc., etc. See you next time. Made it. Made my on-air debut. T. <laughs> I heard it too, Majima-san. Wow, that's amazing. I envy you. <laughs> Told you I got this in the bag. I'm only getting warmed up. Next, got one of my postcards read on Dolce Camilla's show. Uh, gotta re gotta get two more on the air to claim that million yen prize. Gotta dig in and write something that'll get attention. And yes, I do have to do this now. Why? Because fuck you. That's why. <laughs> so what will I write it in about? Gotta be something that Dolce Kami is gonna want to read on air. Um, I'm shocked that the fucking cult and the stranger's face will not take. Uh, or Obitarian. Well, I mean, I'm sure. Uh, this one will. Yeah, I'll go with this one. I cried about taking part in a drug test with those terrible prototype drugs. Let's see now. There we go. 
No. Hey, Yugi Chad. Can you do me a favor? Drop this postcard in the mail later, will you? Huh? I have to go again. I'm begging you, Yuki chan. You know you're the only one I could trust with this. Which I don't Maybe I just haven't seen it. Maybe they have weird ones. I haven't seen a fucking mailbox anywhere in either town, have you? <laughs> you really mean that? Oh, okay, I suppose I will then. <laughs> You're an angel, Yuki chan. You're the best. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Let's hope your postcard gets picked. Hope they read my postcard on there. Better tune in to Dolce Gamiya show next time. Yeah, it just... It didn't count. It didn't count as leaving the fucking store. Club. Whatever. Because I walked out of here, did the round, and then immediately got thrust in the cutscene. Despite the fact that he left, it didn't count as me leaving. Sure. Whatever you say. Now I have to rearrange the team. Definitely, definitely need to rearrange the team. Endo may not be good on uh, looks, but which is bullshit, because I mean, she looks just fine to me. Sure. Yuki. Isobe is pretty fucking solid. Isobe is pr also pretty much the only really high sexy rating one that I have. I could probably get I and uh, Yuki up there, but it would be a challenge. And I think I'm gonna swap out Granny just because she's too high a fuck a level. Somebody's gonna gloat about that. Something, something, Granny will be the best. Let's -a go then. All right, three minutes. Whatever. Oh. I have an endo that... Although, endos could really use the help. She's pretty low level. Average. Only likes sh uh, Shinomi. Wow. Wow. How the fuck is her beauty X? Holy shit, she's got a lot of health. Or realistically, it's patience. <laughs> because with the HP being hospitality points, it's... L well, fuck you, asshole. Fine, go fuck yourself. I don't care. What's your Not people to help. Versus your bitch ass being... Huh. He would take her, so I can. Holy 
shit. Fuck you. Asshole. Wow. That's big fat yikes. Well, as soon as these two are gone, I can... I can pop the fever beater. Wow, fuck you then. About none of them. The fuck you said? Alright, get rid of her. Uh, this guy, whatever. Free that up so that. Cheat mode engaged. <laughs> Fucking hell, these rich assholes are picky as fuck. <laughs> wow, really? Mickey bitch. The meter is not raising quickly. See if this guy wants to extend his session. Oh, really? Fuck you. Four million for Endo. Wow. Oh, whatever. No option for extending the session. Piss me off. No, eh, well, whatever. Oh, I? Wow. Well, she's not making a lot off of this guy. Yeah, maybe a little bit more now. Damn. I mean, it's not the best, but shit. Well, that's not what you were asking for. You were asking for sexy, not cute. <laughs> wow. Yet another picky asshole. Oh, whoops. I should have waited. Solid 30 million haul. Wow. Junko fucking cleaned up. Holy shit. Endo didn't do bad, but Junko cleaned up. Fuck. Oh. Wow. 
Alright, I think the challenges are at 5,000. So. No, unfortunately, not realistic thing to approach right now. But I still do one round between Dolce Camilla radio shows. Because I'm going to clean this shit up now and see what I get for it. Dolce is on the air. As always, we kick off the show with shoutouts to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Did my postcard make the cut? Here's hoping he reads the ones from Gorokoro Goro chan. Yikes. Yo, Dolce Kamiya san. And yo to you too. I'm always looking forward to your show. Thank you. Happy to come across a uh, poster seeking participants for a drug test the other day. Ah, they pay you to try out new medicines, don't they? I read the poster and it turns out they were offering 10 million yen to take part. 10 million? What kind of test were they gonna do? I figured that's a nice round number, so I gave it a go. Oh wow, you actually did it? Maybe you should have consulted a doctor first. Well, yeah. I just signed a contract about keeping things secret and all their legal voodoo, so I can't get into details, but I'm swearing off drug tests for life. P.S. Told you give me a son. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Majima asking this poor bastard all these sh terrible fucking questions. Photo Chad, if you can't flesh out the details in your story, I wouldn't mail it in. Of course, it serves us right for picking this card to read on the air. Wow. The story started with so much promise. How how did that qualify then? How the fuck did that qualify? But some of the others, like the cult, wasn't gonna be accepted. I call bullshit. When you physical like medication that wears off. What happened to the, in the test? We need to know. <laughs> oh, and about drugs? I take them regularly. For acid reflux. Winners don't use drugs. Especially not the illegal kind. Which, chances are, if you have heartburn problems, antacids are probably making it worse. Just saying. Uh, if you win a deluxe gift worth a... If you get three on the air, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, and listeners. Oh, it's time already? Too bad, too sad, but that's our show for today, folks. Got another postcard right on the air. Also, this motherfucker just pulled in 30 million from presumably a knight on the club. And that's profit. Not, not gross. That was net. Why the fuck does he give a shit about a million yen prize? Why does he give a shit? You made on Dolce's show again? I can't believe it. Majima son, you might actually pull this off. <laughs> oh yeah. That million yen prize is as good as mine now. Sure. Let's go. Got two of my postcards right on Dolce's show. Just one more to go and claim that million yen prize. All right, let's do this. Now, two dollar question is, which one do I want to see? Let's go with the ten boyfriend because that's just that was kind of funny. It's ten boyfriend and heart necklace fake. Street performer would have been funny. I don't know why that one's not cho applicable, do viable either. I can write about the time I had to pretend to be a stranger's boyfriend to meet her dad. One that you can actually provide detail for. Yeah. I should probably won't, because... I don't know. Hey, Yuki-chan, can I get you to drop this postcard in the mail later? Huh? I have to go again. Come on, Yuki-chan, we're at the finishing line here. You won't leave me hanging now, will you? I need you on my team here. <laughs> team Majima-san? 
I don't know about that, but I'll do it. <laughs> You're an angel. Same shit. Yeah, yeah, let's hope your postcard gets picked. Repetitive voice lines. Er, well, not voice lines, but you know what I mean. Save. Rinse and repeat. Wahoo. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can actually manage it. Because otherwise I'm gonna end up rushing straight to the end of chapter 8 by accident. And that can't... can't be good. I need to break. Might as well put Yuki back in. Hmm. Short on anything in particular. Uh, yeah, yeah. Love is pretty short. So. I guess Seiko it is. Wow. Holy shit. Their upgrade upkeep cost is. Eight hundred fucking thousand. I mean, I know I keep running into it, but jeez. All right. Maybe if I have time, I'll. I'll do the other, uh, or more of Eyes, uh, interviewee bullshit. You know what I mean? Wow. I had to jump straight to Yuki. You fucking kidding me? Wow. Pecky piece of shit. Oh, so what I was saying was, the simple fact that their HP is hospitality points, what that would really translate to is how patient they actually are. Not so much stamina or endurance or, you know, physical health, but fucking mental fortitude and how much bullshit they can take. <laughs> It's honestly pretty easy. It is. And it's not, not difficult. Wow. Oh, He's glass. It takes a minute to get going, but that's pretty fucking easy, I'll be honest. Almost level two. Aha. A nice wealthy. Oh. Sit down and hopefully. Good, 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 good. <laughs> and Yuki caught it too? Yeah. <laughs> Headed to voice lines. No option. Oh, whoops. Well, whatever. 
ご延長はいかがでしょうし延長でご延長ありがとうございます。I didn't see the short session. Wow, fuck you. She needs some help. Mega rich. Holy shit. Um, good. Jack Endo through the roof by cheesing it. Yeah, yeah, go fuck yourself. Shut up. Eat a dick. I will cheat you into the ground, motherfucker. Doubt me. Fucking doubt me, bitch. Well, aren't you an asshole? I didn't have to just send off her help is fun. What have we yeah? Well, yes, look at him. Another wealth. Oh, is this guy mega rich? Oh, shit, he is. Well, fuck you too, asshole. What he wants is a grandma. That's what he wants. Asshole. What the fuck? Yuki? Uh, he wants Yuki, specifically. What the fuck is that? Well. No. Eat shit. You wanted someone specific? That's your fucking problem, not mine. Two seconds. And Kaputsky. Oh. Biggest yield yet. Damn. And Endo took it home with a cheese. I pulled out that cheesy shit. I done cheated, is what happened. Haha, ha, fuck you, I win. Even though that's not really how it works. <laughs> and she's still dancing at inappropriate pace to the music that's playing. You know what? For shits and giggles, this is chocolate. Let's see what strawberry does. Make my eyes bleed. Yeah, 
a little bit. Very bright, but all of a solid color scheme, so, I mean, it's alright. It's a bit bright. Bit bright, though. Although, I'll tell you what, it looks more like fucking raspberry sorbet than strawberry. If you ask me. Dolce's on the air. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, same old, same old. Did my postcard make the cut? Here's hoping he reads the one. No, <laughs> I just realized he says the Chan and Sod. Why? Yo, don't you come here, son. And yo to you too. La -di -la. The other day I was accosted out of the blue on the street by a girl who wanted me to be her boyfriend. You got hit on, Goro Goro chan? What a lady killer. After hearing her out, it turned out she needed me to pretend needed me to pretend to be her boyfriend in front of her father. Oh, that took a quick turn. Like she wanted, I pretended to be her boyfriend in front of her father. But he knew we were faking from the start. Guess there's no fool in a father. It made us realize how much magic there is in a bond between a father and his child. Are you trying to turn this into a heartwarming story now? I mean, it was, dude. Ain't nothing to turn into. I mean, it was weird, but sure. P.S. Don't you come here, son. Are you good to your parents? Bro, just stop asking a man stupid questions. Well, Goro-chan, that must have been a hair-raising experience, meeting the father of a girl you just met for met in a role you were only pretending to be in. But that's the reality of parenthood. No matter what a child says or does, a parent can see right through it. Even the dad of night? The, even in the dad of night. Sure. Sure, buddy. What do you say? As for me, my parents are still finding all the... Racy magazines I left in the house. Might be a while before I take them, take care of them like a good son. Whoa, that was the third time Goro-chan has had a postcard read on the air. Congratulations. Ha, at long last. Thanks, Dolce Camilla. We have a special surprise headed your way as I speak, Goro-chan-san. Huh? A surprise? For me? Excuse me, Majima-san. Hmm? What's up? I'm in the middle of something important here. I'm sorry to disturb you, but we just got a guest in the club who is to say a little odd. An odd guest? Hi. Yes, he keeps demanding to see someone named Goro Goro Goro. He's kind of persistent about it, too. Wait, how do you get that name? The only person that could be is me. Yes, my thoughts exactly. I figured it would be best if you could speak to our guest, so here I am. <sighs> oh, for crying. Alright, I'll handle it. <coughs> there, that's the gentleman. Him, huh? With his shiny ass hair. Hello, sir. How may I be of service today? Hello, hello. How's it going? Nice to meet you. Are you perhaps Goro 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 Chan San? Uh, my name's Goro Majima, and you are, sir? I also just noticed, I mean, aside from the fact that he has two wildly different patterns on, so, yikes. But, uh, that's like a pink herringbone. What? That catchphrase. You're really... In Indeed I am. Dolce Kamiya, as in Dolce de Postcard, in the flesh? <laughs> you got it, that's who I am. It, it's really him. Here's your prize for getting your postcards on the air three times. Congratulations. Benkei's amulet? This is too wild. Dolce Kamiya, if I could just shake your... <laughs> oh my gosh, is it really you? Whoa. Dolce Kamiya-san, I love your show. 
Thank you, thank you. No, oh, can I shake your hand? And can I get your autograph? And, um, and... <laughs> Aren't you the most adorable fan ever? Why, well, yeah, I could see myself taking you to meet my parents. Sure. <laughs> and Yoda's still fucking reaching around the corner. Uh, Yuki-chan, hold on. Well, folks, the studio calls, and I've got to be going. Sorry I couldn't spend more time with you. Also... They're not close. I mean... Japan's kind of got the landmass of California. Okay, fine. But... Tokyo and Osaka aren't that fucking close. They both got the same radio show playing at the same time, and this guy came to visit them both by hand to hand them their item? Like, bro. And thanks for writing in, Goro Goro. See you next time. I really must be going. Goodbye, and see you next time. Wait, uh, Dolce, please. I didn't get to shake your hand. I mean, you weren't actually a fan, dude. Kiryu was. Kiryu was actually interested. It's incredible that you got three postcards picked. You're really something, Majima san. Huh? Not another word, Yuki chan. <laughs> huh? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't be jumping. You should be jumping for joy. You just want a prize worth a million yen. Forget it. You <laughs> wow. <laughs> huh? What did I do? <laughs> Teehee. Now what the fuck? Benkei's amulet? Uh, huh. It's a different version of the Traveler's amulet. Uh, amulet. Like, almost twice as strong, too. Jeez. Cool. Can live with that. Oh. Uh, oh right. I forgot. That thing gives you uh gives the 1.5 e equipment bonus. Well, whatever. Let us save. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if I quit both of them. Would it be like guaranteed critical success with the fucking dragon and tiger? I wonder. Now, how much money do I have? Whoa. Alright. Cool. Out we go. Because maybe. Maybe I can deal with Club Sun, uh, Club Mercury tonight. Ah, uh, wrong fucking direction, jackass. North. Dumbass. Now, what do I own? One, two, three, and four. Five. Wow. They are all in this block. All of them. Don't you go fuck yourselves. You assholes don't matter. Leave. You're not even gonna give me a lot of money. Uh... Here? Katsukin. There's a one. To the right of Maharaja. Pricey fucking building. Especially for that little fucking reward. No, it's 
This should should be one. Out the way. Exodus. Exodus of what? What the fuck is this? I can't fucking aim the camera up at all. Thank you. I cannot tell what this is on any level. Massage parlor? Maybe? Megalopolis? Okay. Son of a bitch. Hit the button correctly, asshole. Okay. And the last one. I think it's the last one. Yeah. North side. No? Here? Aha. Hammurabi Records. Okay. Sure. And there we go. Ooh, 5,000. That should be it. That should be all I need. Get the fuck out of the way, then. And one lone asshole. Eat shit. Get Jack. Ding. Alright, fine. Eat that one then. Come on. I think I want to pick him up off the floor is annoying. Why is it only Beast that can do that? Congratulations, Mario Masan. We top 4,000. Jeez. Right on, Yoda chan. Looks like Globe Bank area will be ours soon. And the showdown with the old man Mizumura is coming coming up even sooner. Hi. I swear I can read. Maybe I'm just tired. Yes, we have to stop Mizumura san. He's going down the wrong path. <laughs> Majima kun, it's been a. Ow. The fuck did I just do? Completely unrelated, I kind of just hurt myself a little. Uh, Majima kun, it's been a while. Well, if I didn't Hibiki chan from Club Mercury, what's up? I don't stock vinegar here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay on vinegar. I found a shop the other day that sells a lot of it. Yeah, where? Anyway, will you accept this? It's a challenge. We're finally gonna have a cabaret club battle with the old man, huh? <laughs> No hard feelings either way, okay? Uh. All right. No hard feelings. I have to be going. Bye, Majima Kun. Oh. Bye. Uh, wait, Hibiki chan. Can you tell me more about the store with the vent? She's gone already. Uh. That girl Hibiki had you eating out of her hand. She's going to be one tough enemy. We can't lose. Uh. What? What do you mean? Yeah, not sure why you're getting so worked up, though. Like Yuki-chan says, Club Mercury is a powerful enemy. Before we take them on, we should make sure to sort out our staff lineup and get ready. I have no idea whether or not this is a good idea. It's probably a bad idea. Wouldn't surprise me. Really? Since fucking when?
I have never seen that happen before. Uh, Yuki is still good? Mm, well, shit. Fuck it. Maybe we're ready to go then. Uh, need some extra love. Well, if we want talk, we need Granny. Ooh, Granny's got party too? Shit. Need her. Do we need her? Hmm. Well, Miranda's got those categories covered. Uh, Granny's got those categories covered, so Renda can get swapped out for... Hmm. Maybe I am good. I didn't need more sexy, though. Do I even have more sexy? Not, not really. Well, I guess this will have to cut it, then. I want to... Holy shit. 1.1 million. Fuck me. Well, subject myself to the painful music. To try and... Is there any way I can swap her to sexy instead? None of these are raising sexy. You fucking kidding me. No, none of this counts. No accessory. Well, that does count. Imported sunglasses. Her cute would go in the gutter, though. Ooh. Completely switch her around. I can kind of work with that. And the cross doesn't even reduce it that badly. Ooh. -hoo. Very nice. Switch to something else. No, but that one would still do it. Hmm. Aha. Aha. I'll do. Good enough. Solid. Very solid. I can work with that. Uh, I'm going to save, though. I don't know how much it matters, but I'm going to save. How much money did I waste? From 123 million down to... Half. Yikes. Now nah, whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Especially if I could make fucking 30 million clean and easy. Shit. Madrasad, do you want to run the cabaret club? Not really, no. Do let's.
Rival time. Attack! Majima and Yoda. It's been a while. It's been like three hours, dude. Aye. If that. Actually, no, it's probably been an hour. Mizumura-san, I'm gonna stop you. Yoda. You're just like how I used to be a long time ago. <sighs> I hope your youthful enthusiasm won't be your undoing. <laughs> Yoda-chan is really fired up for the change. Oh, for a change. There's no way we can lose with him flipping out like that. You sure? Well, I can't lose either. I have a promise to keep. Mm -hmm. A promise, huh? Nothing you should concern yourself with. Either way, it's the end of the road for you. <laughs> now we get to see Mizumura-san when he really means business. They used to call him the Lion of the Cabaret. I'm looking forward to this. Sure. Sorry, old man. There ain't no way we're stopping here. Let's start this up. Club Sunshine's open for business. Aye. <laughs> They're supposedly all said yes, and there was only a line from one of them. Sure. Ponytail versus ponytail. <laughs> oh. Alright, give him Granny. <laughs> Granny's chat job is so high, it doesn't matter what she looks like. Uh, wow. Alright, um... Oh, she's a good one. Hello. I am in a... Uh, club warfare. Oh. Nah, I don't want to waste UP. Guest class. Yes, look at that. Mega rich. Mega rich, picky bastards. Yes. Oh, jeez. Fucking well done because you know, I'm sure she's not gonna fucking apply to this one. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got the Origins trilogy, uh, both Judgments and um, uh, Ishin Kiwami. I don't have three to five or six or the RPGs. Wow, what a picky asshole. Yeah, hey, fuck But I don't know if I'm gonna have the tolerance to put up with fucking Mahjong. Oh, yeah? What? What are the Japanese exclusives? The only one I might maybe know of is Kenzan? Oh, there's also the PSP one, I guess. Uh, guest class. And... Hey, fuck it. Oh, really? Well, at least she caught it. Wow, I have blown this old man so fucking far out of the water. I wasn't even paying attention and I already won. <laughs> Lower girl's performance? Nah, eh, fuck itself. Ah, whoops. Ashtray? Check with Borzan. HD collection 1 and 2. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I only recently heard of Kenzan, but I didn't know whether or not it had ever been in English. And then of course there's Dead Souls, which hasn't gotten remade yet. Matter of fact, you know, let's let's see let's see that one. 
We'll see how we get remade. Although, uh, supposedly whatever's coming up is supposed to be new? Maybe new? Well, I didn't have a PS3, unfortunately. How do you have the Alright, lock them up. Uh, pick the asshole. Uh, yeah, I went with the Xbox 360 that gen. And we also always went with uh, Nintendo. <laughs> well, I'm on PlayStation. I'm on PS5. Um, uh, yeah, okay. So I don't mod. Oh, shit! So much for straight up winning, motherfucker. Caught off. Oh. I have no idea if I'm gonna win or not. Shit. I've never been a PC gamer, so even though I have a, a good PC now, it's still not my bag. Hmm. I never liked the whole all in one thing. How do you have Oh, that's just me. <laughs> Picky asshole, of course. <laughs> of course, I don't know about any exclusives necessarily, but... My bag in general is catching up on all the things I missed out on because I didn't have PS4 either. <laughs> and yeah, come on. Do I get the good ones? No. Well, eh, whatever. Huh? Yeah, but I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about the performance, I'm talking about the simple fact that. You know, it's uh, it's a handheld, and handhelds had their had their issues. You know, stick drift, all the other bullshit. As opposed to just having to replace a controller, if you have to send the whole fucking thing in for a repair, that's just ridiculous. Oh, so it, it's an untenable concept for me personally. He's still a bit pissy bitch. And he's just gonna stay pissed off. Alright, you... You can go fuck yourself. Uh, the guest mood is improved. I've never seen that happen. Jeez. Hmm. That's interesting. I have no idea if I succeeded or not. Oh. Yuki Rickin in the big bucks. Slightly distracted. Can you tell? <laughs> uh, how about. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, not that there's enough time left for it to matter, but. Really? Well, fuck you too. Ah, uh, whoops. That was an accident. Get her in, thank you. And there we go. Really? I don't mind it. I honestly do not mind it. Aha! Get fucked. I win. Eat shit. Hmm. 
I mean, it, it honestly seems relatively easy. You know, compared to Mahjong, this seems like fucking cakewalk. What? That's about it. We won! <laughs> yeah, we did it! Yoda-chan! Yes. <laughs> I lost. You've done well, Yoda. Splendid. After all, none of my apprentices ever surpassed you. Izumura-san. I'm glad it was you I lost to. Now I can shut down my club with no regrets. You don't have to do that, Mizumoto-san. You can still start over. We can do this the right way, together. <sighs> well, yeah, but it's complete tedium and it's trying to remember the hands of 13 card draw. It's like playing poker on hell mode. <laughs> Yoda, that's not possible. I've gone too far, too, gone too far down a different path. But after I lost my wife, I used every dirty trick in the book to protect the club. As long as I was alive, I would keep the club going. That's a promise I made to her before she died. Promise. I'd heard about your wife's passing, but I had no idea you'd made a promise like that. It was difficult for an old man like me to run that cabaret without any help. It went downhill quickly, and pretty soon I was in danger of going out of business. That's when Tsukiyama appeared on the scene. Business was good, as long as I did what that man said. Whether it was converting the club from a cabaret to a cabaret club, or ripping off customers, I did everything he told me to do. I looked past all of it, because I knew that's how the club was, was staying open basically sold my soul to the devil. But this is the end of the road for Club Mercury. It's time. It was time quite a while ago, in fact. I don't know when it'll be, but when I get to heaven, I'll tell my wife. I'll tell her I'm sorry. Mizumura-san, <sighs> I had no idea. I didn't know when I said all those things to you. <laughs> Yoda, don't ever lose your honesty. You really remind me of myself back in the day. With you around, I'm comfortable with the future of Sotenbori's entertainment districts in good hands. Mizumura-san. Ajima, I've seen what you're capable of doing, too. And I have a favor to ask. Mm, what's that? After Club Mercury is gone, would you let Hibiki work at your club? Huh? I know she's a little weaker than some girls. She can't handle... She can't come into work every day. Most clubs wouldn't put up with it for very long. Mm -hmm. But your club seems like the type that would actually welcome her for the talents she does have, would you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Any girl you trained would be welcome in addition to the team. That's great, thank you. Mizumura-san. Hibiki, thank you for everything you've done for me. Take care of your younger brother and mother. Family is everything. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mizumura-san. <laughs> well then, it's time for this old soldier to turn in his combat boots. We might not see each other again. Bro, you are not wearing boots. You are wearing Oxfords. Mizumura Saad, thank you very much. Do your best, Yoda. Hi. I will. I guess Gramps was pretty cool. Yeah. Yes, I really looked up to him. I know. Majima Kun, thank you for everything. I'm looking forward to working with you. Ah. Nice necklace. Wait a fuck a minute. Do the star girls of all five stars have special necklaces? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. But, I mean, if I was gonna do PC, I'd, I'd just do PC, to be honest. Uh. Right. Yeah, sure. Why are you ogling her? I ain't. You are too. Am not. Oi. <laughs> That's enough flirting, you two. Get a grip and let's get serious here. You know, I was never one of those people. Even if I, you know, even when I played 3DS regularly. Yeah, well, see, I don't have friends. So, you know. <laughs> And the five stars are still out there. Wait, did I just get a scolding from Yoda-chan? 
Well, that was humiliating. You watch, Mizumaru-san. I'll be the one to carry your legacy forward. <sighs> I wish he'd always worked this hard. <laughs> you don't. We'll be back to... He'll be back to his own... Don't worry, he'll be back to his old self tomorrow. Hi! Majima-san, everyone else, let's get ready for the next shift. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So, even Mizumoro-san has fallen. When did you crawl in here? He was an old man who was behind the times. All they did was kick out... Kick out his crutches. Yo. Wait a minute, bitch. I assume there are already plans a place to deal with him? Of course. What kind of assistant would I be if I waited until you asked to take care of these matters? Remarkable as always. Goro Majima of Club Sunshine, I'm looking forward to seeing how you handle the challenges that await you. Sure. Breaker style. Hmm. Holy fucking a billion! Bruh! The fuck you say? 